Welcome back, guys. It's your favorite eel, Gunshy More. And here we got the Community Crunch 356, where we got the ARC roadmap update. Finally, our wild card has spoken. They're going to tell us, finally, after a week of basically just whatever the fuck you guys were hearing on YouTube. All right. They have finally spoken. And more apparently okay first off in this community crunch we are immediately into the info about the pricing of arc ascended and basically what's going on about it and the rearrangement of the roadmap so what's happening is they basically agreed with us the respawn bundle is complete nonsense all right we shouldn't be having to pay for arc survive or arc 2 ahead of time when we've not even seen gameplay footage of a game all right. If all I've seen of a game is a trailer, like fine. All right. But now you only want me to see I've seen like two trailers, like cinematic trailers, not even gameplay and buy the game. Really? But instead now of the respawn bundle, we're getting Arc Survival Evolves Ascended standalone with all DLC included upon the $59.99 purchase. All right. And seeing how a lot of games nowadays, such as Xbox, you're going to be asking for 70 bucks for some games, new titles. All right. 70 bucks. The fact that this is still 60. I mean, you're buying Ark again and all that, but eh, I mean, 60 bucks is reasonable, especially since how we are getting a bunch of new content with this update. Unfortunately, though, they do go on to continue to say that the ARC, ARC official servers will be going down August 31st. And luckily, they will still be available as backup saves or unofficial use. So hopefully, um, maybe you and a bunch of buddies that play on the same server can get together, let everyone else know on the server, like, hey... We're taking the backup. We're hosting it up. If you guys want to donate a dollar or something or whatever to a Discord or a Patreon to keep your server that you love alive, I mean, go for it. Maybe you can even start making your own clusters. Um, but it is, it's hard to see them go, you know, official and all that. And I honestly think the reason they, they gave us was kind of a cop-out. It was all about, hey, we don't got the... It's so much money to keep these maintained. It's old equipment and all that. We all need new equipment and all that. I mean, it just... It breaks my heart to see them go, but... Yeah. I, it's been eight years. I've already lost all my official servers with my buddies, so... I'm gone. Now, on to even more of what's coming in Arc Ascended. We got dynamic mesh and creature pathfinding overall. AI pathfinding, basically. Um, photo mode, NVIDIA DL DLSS. What is that? DL Dizzle? Whatever. Dliz. <laughs> or whatever. And then we got Dino Baby Management Q. Was it QO? That's probably like some lingo. I don't know it. I'm kind of tired right now, but basically some, there's something with the babies and all that's going to, and management's going to get improved. Then we're going to get wild babies. So hopefully we also get nests and eggs that we can steal. I know there are mods on the workshop now that you can get that add that stuff in, but they all, they always seemed a little finicky. I wonder how this is going to work. Um, we're going to get snap points, improvements, character creation and customization improvements. I'm hoping that they don't just port over atlases. I hope they make a completely new character customization and all that. You want guys, you guys probably have never heard of this game because you guys play Ark. But back in the day, one of the old Rainbow Six games, I think it's Rainbow Six New Vegas. I almost said Rainbow Six New Vegas. It's like Rainbow Six Vegas or something along that lines. And. I know it's one of the other ones. There's a couple New Vegases where you could do this. Where you could take a picture of yourself. And you could paste it onto your character. And now I know that might seem stupid to some of you in ARC. 
but I think that would kind of be hilarious, you know, to see if an AI could generate a character in Ark based off of your face. And also, what everyone is really excited for is the cross-platform multiplayer and full blueprint modding. All right. Thanks to Overwolf, which if you guys haven't used Overwolf, I use it for a couple extensions here on my computer, mostly for Minecraft. That's what I've been using it for. I love it for the FTB launcher for modding. And I also got the curse launcher for modding Minecraft. But you can also get dino decks through it. So with a quick hit of a button, well, bam, I got dino decks up on my screen. Also, I am really stupid. It's called Dodo Dex. Also, this is what I mean by uh, Overwolf. This right here is the little Overwolf app. And I got a bunch of apps here for it, such as FTB and the Curse Forge. Those are two for Minecraft. This is the App Store. And then I got Dodo Dex. Well, bam. And you can see all the creatures I've been looking at here. What it takes to tame them. This is basically what I've been pulling up here. For info now if this ain't a freaking banger they're kicking off arc ascended with not only are we getting a new creature here june two months two 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 months before arc ascended releases but they are promising on day one we will get another brand new creature to arc but now there are some restrictions on this creature. I shouldn't have hyped it up as much as I did there before. So this creature will be released for Scorched Earth. So make sure your real creature submission is the same kind of map theme. So go with desert creatures, my man. But anyways, if you do want to go do that and check it out, um, the creature submissions and forums are in my description. But now on to the Easter Evo event. So now during this EVO event, 25% of the wild creatures that will spawn will have the event list colors. And this will be active until the 24th of April. So you guys got 14 days from today, from once this video is posted, to get that done. Or get some of those event creatures, I guess. Now again, the event dates are the 7th of April to the 24th of April. Now, the event rates are going to basically be three times XP, harvesting, taming, breeding, imprinting, mutations, blah, blah, blah. Then you're going to also have 5% or 0.5% times mating interval and 1.5% hexagen bonus for official servers again. Then for the small tribe, I'm going to just actually let you guys read through this because I'm getting winded. But anyways, now on to the color list. We got a lot of colors. Now... And now we got Conquest Season 5. Now, this is the stuff I really don't care about, if you can tell. Now, but basically, it's just announcing that they are kicking off uh, introducing Conqueror Season 5 here, April 25th. They really shouldn't have put Snail Games here by Snail Games, because I understand a lot of people are kind of peased about those guys right now. So, but anyway, into the community corner, we got some creators here that got future featured videos. Like Natural Cause here, who did 100 Days in Primal Fear. And Pat for here, who made a video on how to tame dinosaurs like a pro. Too bad I already do it like a pro. It's just I do it with style. And now we got some art here. I'm guessing this one is either supposed to be the Survivor. Because I'm seeing Helena there. But at first I thought, ooh, it looks like an old man. It's Rockwell. But I'm guessing that's supposed to be some sort of Survivor. And we got a unicorn and a horse. That one actually is quite lovely. Now, um, um, I know, I know how I said the previous one was quite lovely, but that gore. Oh, I know. But if anything is truly lovely, it is the Mosasauruses swimming through the planets. They are just so gorgeous. And what the heck? Is, 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 what the heck is that? Oh, handmade, all right, Patera Down Handmade Art Doll. So it's kind of like a puppet. If you guys have ever seen movies like, uh, 
what is it the night before Halloween? Yeah, that's what, like stop motion. So I'm wondering if this is one of those. Then we do got more art down here of Reapers. Then someone lounging next to the keg with a dead on, I believe is what they're called. We got some screenshots of the island cave exploration. Um, I, I think I know this cave. I was a little scared in it. But then we got down up here. It appears Edmund Rockwell fighting Edmund Rockwell. Huh. I'm just going off of Ned the Noodle's design for Edmund Rockwell. If you've ever seen his series there, there uh, Edmund's basically just white hair and beard with glasses on top of Bob's face. And then we got an ice wyvern in here with rainbow. Then we got Hogwarts. Hogwarts, sorry. I said, I just realized I said Hogwarts. It's Hogwarts. But anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, if you guys liked this one, please do leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, we will have another Community Crunch video hopefully next uh, next Friday. Oh, I almost for also forget. They're going to be releasing this one's dossier next Friday. So make sure you're here.